Yeah, yeah. They don't yeah. think you could do it, but tell you to try when they talk. All I hope had to keep it alive. Spend a day in the bunk, but you wouldn't survive. Can be low when I pop out, they know I've arrived. I go have conversations with so he gon' tell me pull up and come say what you know. I've been up, I can count all them days in a row. We don't say what we do, we be making the show. They say I'll be the voice of the Bronx. We have Bronx playing with the guys that are out here. Can I get a year? Right where they at, try to diss me, I bet I don't even react Put a show on, I bet you somebody gon' yeah, yeah. I pick me a book up and drink me some water and Invest in the stock, all them on me back in Alright, peace and love world, welcome to another episode of Conversation with Zoe uh, We are here today with my guy Dice Peso yeah. What's the word, my guy? What's up, brother? Good to meet you, my brother The Bronx yeah. in the building That's Big fact, energy, you know what I'm saying? We got Boss Bread Records yeah. CEO Bird Game yeah. Trap Bible out now And the Deluxe And the Deluxe, man How you feel, my brother? Man, I'm blessed, man Card is good Paper straight right. You know what I mean? Right, man What, what made you pick uh, Conversation with Zoe? I mean, I'd be from the ex. I'm like, I mean, I can show my boys some love, Let's man. Let's go, man. The Bronx energy. That's good uh, for the youth, man. We got to be together. You know what I'm saying? Facts. We're from the town. And, and the Bronx, it's just so it's so grimy there that you don't see that. Right. And if somebody showing you some love, you question them because there's something that come with it. Right. You feel me? Like, they, it's a catch. Like, it's always a catch. You know what I mean? Right. Like, it's always a catch. So it's like you got to be careful what you choose or right. who you choose. Right. Appreciate that. It takes 10 years to master some shit, most times. Money don't come in overnight. The quicker it come, the quicker it go. I love fast money, though. <laughs> yeah. I got that from your Twitter. From my Twitter. Right, so it's taking you 10 years to get here. Uh -huh. How's the journey been? I mean, so, so, many, so many times I wanted to quit and give up, but never, like, spoken to the universe. Right. But... I find myself running in circles a lot. And I'm like, damn. It's like, I know I've seen this door again before. I know I've seen this door. Damn, like, I just, I just like, I kept running in circles and I needed something that's gonna make me something different. You right. know what I mean? Like, I won't compare to uh, uh, being in a long relationship and you keep fucking the same chick and you're like, right. yeah, I want something new. It's not like that, but it's like that. Right. You feel me? And it's like, I, was, I kept feeling, feeling that way. And then when it finally, I stopped certain things and cut certain things out. And I started seeing more different kind of doors. Right. And then I'm like, all right, now I'm here. Now I know what to do. Right. So you say you're from three different parts of the Bronx, three yeah. you, or you go, you rep three different blocks. Yeah. Right, so do you pick one or the other, or how, how would you start? I mean, I would say Clay Ave, mm -hmm. Prospect, and then Watson. And then Watson. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's like a straight line through the 35. I mean, right. I just pick, I just pick all three of them blocks. Right. Right. So we're going to start right here. So we're going to go eight years ago. Yeah. Right. I ain't ever lie on the next nigga. I just had to get, I just had to get it, make the X bigger. Yeah. Produced by Ron Browse. Mm -hmm. Drug money. Drug money. <laughs> where, where were we eight years ago? Hey, yo. That shit, that's like one of my, that was one of the songs that stuck with everybody. Right. You know what I mean? Shout out to Pimpin', he pushed that song so crazy for me. I mean, I just, that, that was that was the grind of the studies, nigga on the corner. Right. Dimes, you know what I mean? Like, right. trying to invest in, invest in his career. Right. I mean, that's him, just right. trying to knock all the doors down, like, right. by himself. Right. And, I mean, uh, the guy that ain't want to be in that same predicament. He just wanted to get bigger. That's all. And I wanted the ex love. To, I wanted the ex to love me. Right. right. And I ain't with the lion. Who cares about your story, homie? I hug my moms with a with a smile and a forty, <laughs> homie. <laughs> yeah, you you just had history. Dude. I told you, man. We did we did some homework today. Well, that's a fact. That's just the. You ever seen Strap? No. The movie. You gotta watch that. Gotta watch that. Yeah. It's just 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 um. You don't want your mom to feel like you're doing... You always want your mom to look at you like you, you're a good boy. Right. But, I mean, ain't nothing sweet over here. Right. You feel me? Like, that's just basically what it is. Like, I like my mom's with a smile and a four year old. Like, I don't want my mom to see nothing I'm going through. I never right. want my mom's... I know I ain't, I used to get locked up. And I ain't, I just tell my step as well, don't, don't, don't tell my mom's, though. Right. Don't tell my mom's. Like, I mean, I just told I like to keep my mom's out. Everything, bro. If right. she find out, all right, cool. But I just right. keep her out of everything. I've been through so much stuff in life she don't know about. Right. 
Cause I ain't never wanna worry about moms. Right. You feel me? That's that just that's just me. I don't know how other guys is, but my my shit is like I know when I worry about my mother. I mean, right. I don't I don't keep out of everything. So when I said that, that means, nigga, I'm this type of person. But with my moms, I'm this type of person. You right. Know what I mean? Right. Right, I mean that shows that that level of respect and love you have for your mother. Yeah. You know, most dudes just crash out and they don't care. Like yeah. they just. I never cried to my moms. I never talked to my mom about no, no, no girls. But just like, hi, mom, how you doing? You need something? Right. Like I ain't never let her know what I was going through. So she, every for her, she'd say I was always happy. Right. I just that's how I want to always remember me. Right. How's mom Dukes doing today? Now nah, she very, she blessed, she good. Right. I mean, that's good. That's good. Niggas don't love you. They just want to shine with you. They they do the crime with you and don't do the time with you. Mm. Corner stories. Mm. Six years ago. Mm. I mean, you know how that, you know, you know the streets, man. Right. Niggas just niggas just want niggas around you when you when, when the shit is up, that shit going good. But right. soon shit starts slowing down, the conversation slow down right with it. Right. I mean? The cold slow down with it. And then when you back popping again. They start calling you again. Right. Everybody got excuses. I mean, that's just how life is. And sometimes you got to respect it. You can't even get emotional or mad about things like that because you got to look at certain things. That's just life. Right. That's just niggas. Right. Has any relationship survived the course of time? Like people that were there 10 years ago and still here today? Yeah. BP. Right. The person that, the person that invested in me and helped me a person that the reason why I'm a, that taught me how to be a man, like he, I keep, I had my stepfather told me how to be a man too, but he taught me the mistakes I was, the, the, the shit I was gonna face. Right. When I got how older I get. Right. I mean, so I mean, he the reason why, BP the reason why I know, like, I take care of my bills and take care of this, and I can't. I mean, I ain't mean, never, I ain't never been fucked up because of him. Since hey. since I met, since I've been around BP, I, he the reason why I ain't never been fucked up because it ain't about him doing for me. It's about the knowledge he gave me. Right. That stuck with me. Right. Because I ain't want to fail him and see him like, oh, I'm fucked up or oh, I'm doing this. I ain't, I don't got, I ain't. So I mean, the knowledge helped me. Right. I mean, the, the knowledge. I mean, he probably don't know the influence he had. Right. On me. I mean, but that that keep me kept me there. Like I ain't never want to have a hard day. Right. You feel me? So, the knowledge he's given you, who have you passed that on to? I pass on all my guys. Right. Is either you gonna listen or you not? You feel me? Right. As long as I told you the knowledge, you take what you gonna take from it. Right. You feel me? I feel you. See a daddy and you kissing. You be texting her that you missing her. See the shorty everybody had. So when you hug her, everybody laugh. <laughs> My name be five years ago. <laughs> Yo, dude, that just be stabbing on niggas. Right, right, right. Like, <laughs> come, for, come for these dots, loving these dots, shooting niggas over these dots. Mm -hmm. Man, she gonna, she gonna choose that nigga, man. I'll choose that nigga, man. Right. You feel me? Like, I, I, I never understood a nigga getting mad over a female when she... Choose the next nigga, nigga. If you get, if, if shorty, if you if I catch my chick choking to another nigga, I'm not mad at that nigga, bro. Right. I mean, what the fuck I look like? Be mad at him, nigga. If she like him when she fucking with him, nigga. Man, right. fuck that shit. Mad, just mad chicks out there. Like I ain't never arguing with a nigga. Uh, I ain't doing shit like that, man. Right. So she could go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Nigga. Go ahead. That's it. Facts. <laughs> if I got, if she got a chain on. I'm gonna take it like. See out there. <laughs> <laughs> so why won't you ever get that? Just like okay. that. That's it. It was the days I ain't have it, so I had to bag it. Mm. My drip four years ago. Yeah. Do you feel like the streets chose you, or you chose the streets? I feel like I was born into I'm like born into that. My pop, my pops is like a hustler. Right. Uh, and you know, I always heard he died when I was four years old. So all I heard was just stories of my, of my pops being that nigga. Right. So I always wanted to be that nigga to my family. I right. mean, to the streets too. Like I just wanted to be that nigga. Right. And that's just, I just feel like that shit was always. I was born. I was born in that. You know right. what I mean? I was born in that world. I was that 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 baby that puts on <laughs> that, that go getter. Right. With some morals though. With some morals. You gotta expound on that though. Morals is like. I ain't gonna, I'm not just doing anything. 
right. and I got respect for certain shit. Right. And line, certain lines I'm gonna cross. Right. Cause I'm gonna feel right with it. Right. What are some of those lines? Like I ain't just just I'm um, not taking care of my family. Like my family, when I say family, I ain't talking about my every cousin or every aunt or every uncle. So I don't get it twisted when I say family. When I say family, it's like the ones that's for you. Right. Because every all family members ain't for you, bro. That's you know what I mean? True. I don't really give a fuck if you're a brother, I don't give a fuck if you're a sister, you're an aunt, you're a cousin, you're an uncle. Like, nigga, that's not. Family is like if nigga, like, you feel the love, right. you feel the action. Right. You feel me? You feel the care. Right. Like, you could be around family fucked up, broke, and they still treat you the same way. Right. I mean, you still get them calls, you still get them happy birthdays, you still get them, are you hungry? Or, or a family member, when you starving, they feel like they starving. Right. You know what I mean? Right. When you fucked up, they feel like they fucked up. Right. So they find out every way to make sure you feel good. Right. Some, another, another family be like, oh, you fucked up, they ain't answering their phone. Right. How that's love. That's true. You know what I mean? I feel that. These bitches ain't loyal. These niggas be worse. No lies. Mm. Three years ago. That line is just like basically saying like, Everybody's the same. Right. I mean, it's like when you wear a shirt, then you wear a shirt more. It's, like, it's the same shit. Both shirts is wet. I mean, right. like, right. it's the same. Like, it just, it, just, it just don't, it's how you choose to deal with it. I mean, your mind is a, it's a weapon. That's just, that's just dangerous. Right. I mean, sometimes you can just laugh at it. Everybody don't got to see emotion about it. That's, that's, just, that's just the game. Like, right. you know what I mean? I didn't see my friends change. I done seen my girl leave. Mm. I done seen them snitch niggas come home early. Mm. Brotherly featuring Hattie Rax and my man. Oh, Shout out to my son, Uni. Yeah, he, spread, he spread that word from yeah. that track on the head, on the head too. Right. I see my, my man, I don't, at, at one point, I, I was I was with my baby mom for years. Right. You know what I mean? And then one point, one 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 eight they just switched up. Right. And when you're used to somebody, you be like, damn, like what I'm gonna do now? Or, but some niggas will crawl up. When that happened, I just gotta motivate it and and bust up. Right. You feel me? Like right. you know you got that girl that do everything, that call the doctor for, for you, that 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 hook up your bank account, that you know what I mean? Like right, right, right. the nigga, you know, we don't do shit. So right here. Everything, yeah. Like it's like your right hand. Right. Like she got your information. Like you don't trust nobody with your social, she got it. So like when when shit like that go away, it goes away. Right. Then you gotta just boss up. Like I mean, so it's like my, what I was saying in that part around that time, I done seen that. I seen that happen. I done right. seen a nigga. I done seen niggas I fuck with to tell. I mean, right. I mean, but it, it's just if the love don't go away that you got for somebody. But there's certain moves when you when you that you do that you can't that you can't accept. Like I mean, I can't. Right. I mean, that, that's just how it is. Right. I done, that's what I was saying. I done seen that. I done seen a bunch of niggas. I just one person. I, I I see a bunch of niggas not hold it down. Right. You feel me? Right. In, in a situation, I mean, it just that's all it was like that. Right. Like I seen, I've been in the streets my whole life. I've never seen it all happen. Right. You know what I mean, do you, so do you feel like the internet has made like snitching worse or more like acceptable? Everybody telling it nowadays. Right. I mean, it's just like everybody telling and. Everybody record everything. It's like snitching is a lot. Like, like the internet is doing a lot of shit that that I'm confused about. Like niggas just say niggas putting drills on the internet. You know what I mean, niggas right. just dissing the dad and saying what they gonna do. And that shit is weird. The internet just just weird. Right. You going when you beef with a nigga, you not stepping back and forth for the nigga. You gonna catch him and do something. So right. You don't want nobody to know. Right. You know what I mean, but now it's like niggas want everybody to know what they doing. Then they go to jail. And they be like, how I'm in jail. Right. You in jail because the cops watching Instagram from the first day y'all was beefing. Right. Shit's just crazy. Like, I mean, like, I, I don't know. It's weird. Niggas doing drills and the V's they shooting videos in. Right. And then and then wondering why. Right. That don't make no sense, bro. That's not smart. That's not smart. I don't know if the drugs, the new weed these niggas are smoking, but it's something. That's not, that shit is not it, bro. That's not how the king right. supposed to be. Right. Do you feel like it's lack of leadership, lack of OG? It is, bro. That's yeah. why this shit going like this. These niggas ain't talking enough. They ain't explaining to these niggas enough. That's not, that's not, that's not 
the way to go about this shit, bro. You know what I mean? You don't go on the internet and beef with people, and then if it's real beef, right? Unless you playing around, right? Like how you going? How you telling the world you gonna kill this nigga? Then you get mad when you go to jail, right? You might as well go strap up and do that shit in broad daylight, right? Because that's what you doing on the internet, like broad daylight shit. Like you know what I mean, if you gonna be solid, you are gonna be solid, right? And some of this shit be for no reason. Like these niggas be beefing about nothing, bro. Right. So, with well, all the years that you were in the street, how did you sleep at night? I ain't really sleep. Slept three hours every day. I had to get money. Right. I mean, I wanted more. Like, I ain't settled. I get a 75 inch TV. I want an 80 next week. Right. I mean, like, I, I, I get jewelry. I want more jewelry. I mean, I get a crib. I want more things in my crib. I never settle. I still ain't settling. That's just me. I do an album, I come out for a week, I'm in the studio doing another album. Right. I shoot a video, I put it out, I shoot another video. That's just me. I always been me. Right. That's why niggas ain't never understand dice. I can't match the nigga energy. Why he sold it? That's just that's just me. Right. It's a it's 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 just in me, bro. It's just, it's just who I am. Right. I mean, I can't change that, I can't stop that. Right. You make a nigga wanna hug more, mm -hmm. make a nigga wanna love more. Cause you understand my lifestyle. Yeah. Right, so we, we did a little more for the ladies on this one. <laughs> Facts, love you. Frozen yellow tape. Right. You know, you got that female where where you feel connected. Right. You know what I mean? Where when you when you next to them, they ain't arguing, they ain't toxic. They just understand what you're trying to do. Right. And they ain't with you. I mean, at all times. Right. I mean, it's just like every nigga want that. Right. Every, wanna, every nigga want a, a, a girl they call their friend, their best friend. Right. I mean, they ain't arguing about who's this bitch, who that, what's going on. Right. I mean, let's fly. How are you in relationships? Um, I ain't perfect. I mean, I ain't perfect. I feel like I'm gonna keep it real. Like I fucked up a lot of like good girl hearts. Right. I want to apologize to y'all right now. I'm well, sorry. Have your moment. I mean, I'm sorry. Came before right you, there. I mean, I, I cause. Cause I could have did, cause I, I ran across. I mean, I could have did better. I mean, like, I mean, I could did it better. Like, and if I did, certain should have been different. You feel me? Right. And I don't love much, bro. I mean, I don't like. I don't be. I mean, I don't be falling here, falling in love, and all that shit. Like, I've been in love twice my whole life. You know what I mean? Right. So I don't be out here falling in love, but I just I could have I could have did better. Right. You know, like I couldn't show you shit. It wasn't. It wasn't even worth it. When I look back at, it, like, ah, oh, shit, wasn't worth it. Man. Right. I had to style with my whole, my whole life. You know what I mean, like, you know what I mean, I could just, just, just stick with this. Right. Invest in this. You know what I mean. Right. Is that is that why is that why you beat mom left? What for my lifestyle? Yeah. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean, did you do you ever feel like they worried about you a lot? Um, I've been through some shit. Right. Scary moments. Right. Like you, that you see in movies. Right. You know what I mean? Like, so it's like, of course. Right. You know what I mean? I done, I done been through some shit, man. I done, I done been through it all, bro. I done, niggas, like, when you out here, you get into it, bro, you got to watch everybody. Right. You can't let niggas know where you live at. You can't let none of that. Because right. the shit, I, shit, shit I've been through, I, God... My mom, I mean, my grandma was like some uh, angel or whatever. It's up there, it's just telling God like, nah, they can't happen to this guy. Like, I mean, they just was staring at something because right. I don't know how I survived certain things. Like, you know what I mean, like I survived it. Like, I survived certain things. And I don't know how I have just because because this lifestyle, lifestyle put me in rich. Right. You know what I mean, like niggas will kill you for your lifestyle if they can't afford it. Right. When Chinks said that, I felt that. That's just true. R.I.P. Chinks. Yeah, yeah, man. That's next to you or do the, the worst to you because he's not living your life. But you don't even know. You thinking it's your man. There ain't no man's out here, bro. Right. Niggas don't give a fuck about you because they not eating what you eating, bro. Right. I mean, they can say bro, 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 bro all week. That shit do not matter. Right. I mean, you got to play with them, play with it. Because soon these niggas get super, super hungry, they send back in their crib like, this nigga ain't feeding me. But this nigga ain't doing nothing for me. But they don't know being around you is an opportunity. You know what I mean? Like, nigga, you could go get some shirts, brother, and sell them shirts. Right. You know what I mean? You could, you, could, you could get on your DJ Cali shit 
That's doing your own albums. I mean, I, and I'm going to help you out. Like, I, I mean, like, you right. put some rappers together and start doing your own albums. Right. Nigga, you could book a concert and put me on it and have all this open up and get some money. Right. There's a lot of things that you could do to help me. Like, it's a table, bro. Like, bring something to the table. Right. Value. Don't just come with your plate and your fork wanting to eat. Like, what he got for us. Nah, nigga, create opportunities, nigga. Mm-hmm. So we all get Right. Because if we don't, niggas going to start feeling like you don't, this nigga ain't helping or this nigga ain't doing this. Well, we, we all can help each other, bro. Like, I'm trying to get on, too. I'm still, I'm still, this shit ain't, this, you get the fame before you get the money. Don't forget that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I think you gotta contain your lifestyle, so it costs a lot of money. Right. A lot of rappers don't have bread, bro. A lot of rappers is broke, bro. Niggas is just is, is false claiming. Right. A lot. I'ma say most, nigga. Right. Even in even in legends, bro. Like even in legend rappers is just living off the land. Like niggas is living off the name, living off trying to like just trying to survive, bro. So right. it's, it's hard out here. This ain't this ain't pieces and cream, nigga. New York, in New York City. Right. You know what I mean? Man, I feel that. So, we went from eight years ago. I was with, I was on YouTube watching the old videos. Got a great body of work. Appreciate that. So, what what kept you motivated? Just not wanting to be a used to. Be. Like, I ain't want to be a used to. Be. Man. I ain't want to be a nigga out there. That nigga was popping back in the day. So a nigga did this, but he ain't make it. Man. I ain't want to be that nigga. I ain't want to be the nigga that ain't make it. Man. What does music mean to you? It's just my journal. It's just you know, my, so my, when my kids get older, they just they hear my they they, they hear that and they understand what I was going through around that time. Music ain't just it's just it's just it's it's my book. Right. So that's what I came up with Trap Bible. It was like this this is me, bro, this is my rules. Right. This is how I feel, this is how I look at things. Right. You only live once. Like and that lasts forever. Right. I mean I and, and, and if you look at life, bro, like how I look at life, you'll understand. And you understand why when I told you I don't, I don't love like that. Right. I mean, or, or it's not love and care two different things. I could care, but I could not love. Right. You know what I mean? Like, we only get one life, bro. When I, when I pass away, nigga, everything is just memories now. You move on. Right. What that shows you, you know, last forever. Right. Like, I can like this shirt. I'm not going to keep wearing that shirt every day, but it's going to play out. Right. She, she can just play out. She can play out. Nothing, nothing, anything you can say here and name to me right now, it's not going to last. Friendships, relationships, rap, <laughs> right. basketball, baseball. Right. Nigga, what? Nigga, everything. I mean, LeBron James, he not the same LeBron James no more. Right. Kobe ain't here. Right. Mike Jordan don't play no more. Right. What is memories? Right. That's all that counts. Right. You just got to make the best memories. And, and and that was three different perspectives as Jordan don't play no more. Mm-hmm. Kobe passed away, R.P. Yeah. Kobe, and LeBron's not the same. Exactly. Right? That's the cycle of life right That's there. That's a fact. We come and we go. But at the end of the day, what stays the same? Memories. That's memories. all you got to create memories, bro. Right. So, I mean, it's just like when if you're in a relationship, don't waste time. And I mean, if it ain't working out, move on. Right. Because all you're doing is... Wasting time. Right. Life is about memories. Be happy. You got to make sure you're happy. If you spend your life just building, a lot of people spend life off emotions all day. Like, you're mad, hating, tight. You can't even love your life like that, bro, because at the end of the day, nobody cares, bro. Right. Deep down inside. That's when you go through something, all you, all you, only person that's going to feel it is you. Right. You smack your hand on this table right now. I can't feel it, bro. you going to feel that shit. Right. If somebody dies, you feel that pain. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? Like, you, you get shot, you feel that shit. You go to jail, you feel that shit. Right. Niggas act like they feel it, y'all. I feel what you're saying, bro. Niggas, you can't 100% feel that pain because you not got my body, you not got my soul, nigga. Right. You know what I mean? Right. This definitely, this is like the universe talking to me right now. Yeah. Because I'm going through some stuff with my family. Uh-huh. And I used to be that guy that was really emotionally invested yeah. in everybody. My pops passed 2015, so I'm like, cool. I'm going to work hard and put on for everybody. Um, I want to be the guy you could call, solve your problems. Yeah. If you need something, I'm I'm drop everything and go. Yeah. And that got me fucked over yeah. by everybody. You feel me? So it's like I can't be that guy no more. You got to, you got to, you got to, you got to, like I told you, your mind is, 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 is powerful. Right. I mean, 
Sometimes, it, sometimes your mind, your heart, that shit, that, that shit'll fuck you over. Right. But you always gotta make sure you go first, cause nobody gonna make sure you go. Right. Know what I mean, everybody got selfishness, selfishness, selfishness in them. Like every. Of course, of course. And through being that, at the end of the day, people chose themselves. Yeah. No matter what, no matter what I did, what I gave, it didn't matter. Nah. You know. So now that I've detached myself, and. It's hard to it's hard to be that. They be like, yo, you you kind of cold. I'm I like, always tell niggas, it always it only takes ten seconds for a person to feel some type of way about you after you say no. Right, that's very true. So it takes ten seconds. So everything you did for them, all oh, that shit wipes them out. Right. Like I told you, moments, bro. Moments. <laughs> Life is just moments. Right. See all the moments they do different for them. You give them ten dollars, cash at them. They Netflix was off, you sit on that. I mean, your ne- you, they, they, they in the crib, Netflix was off. You, they, yo, you can send them Netflix, you pay Netflix. I mean, it's simple shit, I'm just right. saying. Like, you know what I mean, buying something to eat, whatever. You doing, you doing, you doing, you doing. The minute you said, nah, nah, I don't got it right now. Right. Ten, ten seconds, bro, that, that whole, oh, you ain't got to be funny. Right. Oh, he do got it. They, you know, I mean, it's just, that's, that's how life goes. Take ten seconds for somebody to take away about you. Right. That's all it takes. Who are your musical inspirations? I'm gonna say, um, I'm gonna say people like from my hood, like Angry Man, right? Shout to Blizz, shout to Bell, Real Right, Take Over. These these are groups in my neighborhood, right? And the reason why I wanted to rap because I was grabbing all these tapes and seeing seeing what they rapping about and then seeing them do it. Right. So I'm like, oh, these niggas. Is That's why I don't lie my music. Cause I seen them niggas do reality rap. Right. You know what I mean? Right. But I also learned mistakes they made too. So I was like, I ain't, I ain't gonna make that mistake. Right. You feel me? I right. ain't gonna make that mistake. And um, I just learned a lot for that. Right. I ain't really listened to. Um, I wasn't even like a fan of like fan of like I was a fan of Dipset. Right. A fan of D Block. Right. You know what I mean? So it's like, but, but I'm going to put the groups in my hood, you know what right. I mean? That that I was a fan of. Right. So we're going to go through a couple tweets. Yeah. I remember I ain't have enough of some chili cheese fries tapped out. Yeah. Right? How were those times when you ain't have it? I'm going to tell you I'm gonna tell you a story, right? Real right. Quick. You know what I mean? A lot of people don't know this, and I'm gonna put this on flash. Like it was one time, I was I ain't had nowhere to go because I had a situation had occurred, and I thought I was on a run. You know what I mean? Like I wasn't really on a run, but I thought I was on a run for something. And um, I was I, had, I was just staying at different crackheads' cribs and all that shit. And my cousin was like, "Yo, you can you can." She was she was an older cousin. And she was like, "You can stay with me." And um, I was staying with her. And she had a crackhead boyfriend. You know what I mean? And I used to be like, yo, <clears throat> he used to be like, you know what I mean? Came, I was just fucking with him out there. He bring bring me some bread, whatever. Like, you know what I mean? And he had got locked up. And she's she stuck in the crib. I'm paying the cable bill. I'm just, I'm getting, I was fucked up. I was trying to get back up. You know what I mean? And, and um, I'm getting up. I'm helping her out, giving her some money. Hooked up her crib, you know what I mean? I ain't had nowhere to go, I'm feeling like home. I start, I, 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 get, I, get, I get back in the bad gym again, I get fucked up. Everything switched. Like I come home and it's fucking raining. Like I woke from where I was at, soaking wet. I get to the crib and she tells me, oh, you gotta go. I'm like, what you mean I gotta go? She like, nah, you gotta go. My, 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 I just, my daughter moved back in. I was sleeping in the living room. Big ass bed in the living room. Her daughter on the bed. There was two beds in the room. Her daughter on one bed. And her daughter's daughter, her granddaughter on the other bed. I'm in the kitchen. She's like, no, nah, you got to find somewhere to go. I'm going to find somewhere to go at 6 in the morning. And it's fucking thunderstorming outside. Great. And she ain't jacket. She was dead serious. So I left. You know what I mean? Because I was down. She just, if I was up back how I was, I'd have been a story. So that's why I say every family, when they come to family, it don't mean you family sometimes. Right. Look at that. Look what family do. Look what she did. Right. And this is this 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 is my cousin. Right. From my pop side. Right. You know what I mean? And, um 
when the, when the, when, the, when the light came back on, what you think happened? She spun the block on you. Of course. I ain't speaking. I ain't since that day I left soaking wet from her crib. I ain't speak to her since then. Know what I mean, right. but I always let her see the glow up. Right. Know what I mean, I always let her see what's going on. Wow. You feel me? I know she regret it because I would have done everything. Because 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 since she was she was there about talking times, I would have made sure she was Gucci right now. Right. You feel me? Right. I would have gave her everything. That's how it goes, man. Yeah. You know, some people are small sided. It's short sighted. Yeah. You don't see the bigger picture. And I would say this too. Most of the things said or done to you, you probably would never do to nobody. Mm-hmm. Especially a family member. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So that's why my family yeah, then another thing like sometimes like I always wanna always wanna shout out like who helped? Right. Who who I owe? I mean like nigga right. the fuck you did for me, nigga. Right. What you did? You gave me some money from studio time? We bought some beach? We bought some clothes for me? We took me on trips, nigga, you paid for some videos, nigga, what you did for me? That you feel like you deserve what? Cause you rep, nigga? Like, mm. niggas get repping wrong. Mm-hmm. Repping and investing is two different things, bro. You heard? Like, we can shout, shout it out all day. But who putting up, who doing business? Very true. Repping and investing in two different things. That's a fact. There's a few niggas I feel like help. You know I mean? Right. There's a few niggas I feel like help. I mean, I a lot of niggas help build my buzz with me or or, or I appreciate my niggas from the old, the niggas I used to fuck with and I still fuck with. I feel like niggas rep with me. You know what right. I mean? I, and niggas help me like niggas believed in me. Man. And I jack it. I jack them. I mean, but there's a, there's a lot of niggas that just be like, be the title of things that they in the title of. Right. You feel me? I'm getting big money. I ain't hating on who getting more. Yeah, I'm cunt, I'm good. I ain't going I like that. Like being around niggas that got it, it motivate me more. Right. You feel me? Right. I don't get mad about that. I mean, I get, like, yeah, that's what's up. This is how I, I want to be. Right. I mean, I get motivated. Right. I always did. Even when I ain't have it, I got motivated. Right. I feel like a lot of that has to do with financial insecurity. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You feeling like you're not in motion. You feel me? Or yeah. Whatever you got going on. Even with the platform, you know, that this was something that everybody was like, what is wrong with him? Yeah. Like, you always posting shit. He always doing that. He, and it's like, bro, dice peso. Yeah. Look. Uh-huh. Everything you said you ain't believing. What's the fact? Everybody else does. Mm-hmm. And now you want to say you believe in it. It's cool. I appreciate it. But I know who I know who's who. That's you know what I'm saying? Fact. Like that's one thing that comes with this. Is is hopefully clarity comes and you yeah. get to see who's who and what's what. You know what I'm saying? And I'm thankful because I gotta take less people with me now. Yeah. Right? When the M come or whatever come. I worry about way less, a whole bunch of less people, bro. Mm-hmm. And it's good. I'm happy about it. Nah, that's a fact. You got it. You can't, like I tell you, you don't get emotional about nothing. Right. I mean, you just got to live 24 hours in a day, man. Right. We sleep like eight of it. Right. You you touched on this one a little earlier, but you said, you can't be me. All these losses I took with a smile on my face would have broke you. Mm. I felt that. Now you read what's on my Twitter, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because, oh, you know, Twitter... Yeah, repeat that for the people, though. I'm going to repeat that for the people. You can't be me. All these losses I took with a smile on my face would have broke you. Mm-hmm. That's powerful. Yeah, that goes to... Niggas, niggas, niggas don't niggas ain't understand where... Where... My own... When niggas try to lie on me, I still smile. You man. feel me? Took losses, grandma passing. I got a show. I gotta right. go get the bag. Right. Fresh, fresh out of the week, out of the funeral. I'm in a show. I'm in a club. I mean, right. Cause I, cause I gotta get the money. Right. Like I mean, a lot of it just not so recording. So I mean, all that. Look, Envy died. They killed Envy in a park. Stabbed up. I'm still, I'm still running around doing music. Right. You know what I mean? Right. I ain't getting, I ain't getting no time to, to heal. Right. Cause open scars. 
Right. I feel like we we writing the next album right now. Like yeah. I feel like we <laughs> this mean, is it right here, like, bro. That's 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 what I meant. That like I ever broke somebody. I mean, they would start rapping. They would never right. been doing what they had to be doing. Right. But for me, I had a bigger picture. I'm like, I can't. Like I told you, I really live. Like I gotta keep going. Right. Because one day it's gonna stop. Right. Like you can't keep going once it stop. Right. Very true. That's how I feel about um, baseball. You know, baseball yeah. was. I was at the height of my career in high school. Mm -hmm. Everything was going my way. Won a chip, first team all conference, all of that. I get to college, racist coach, two knee surgeries, and things are just like yeah. baseball is like the most non-existent thing ever. Mm -hmm. But I, I took that opportunity to be in college just to focus on my schoolwork. Yeah. That's why as a coach, I coach baseball yeah. and mentor. I tell kids like, yo, like the sport not going to love you back. Yeah. For me, but you got to use the sport to make when your you way out. you say the sports ain't going to love you back, I feel like that's what everything in life. Right, true. True. I feel like that's what everything in life. So you, just, because you love it, I'm really supposed to love you. Right, very true. So what I would so what I would do is I always tell them like, yo, take that education serious. Yeah. Like you still got an opportunity to hoop mm -hmm. and go to school. Like that's two opportunities. One door closed, you have at least another opportunity. You got another option. That's a you want to have options. You feel mm -hmm. me? So getting the two knee surgeries, learning how to run twice, two more times, and then graduating, getting a job, and then signing two years later because I went I, I signed when I was 25 to play in Europe, mm -hmm. right? Most people would have been like, gave up, yeah. feel me? Like the two knee, one knee surgery would have been like, I'm done. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Then the racist coach would have been like, I'm done. I lost my pops 2015. That would have been like, all right, cool. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm over it, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? But I, I saw my vision, I saw my dream and I just kept pushing. 2015 was a bad year for me too. I lost Envy that year. Right. So that was a, that was a, that was a bad year for me too. Right. Yo, yeah. I just like that was just something that that was my first loss. Like I, I lost my pops at a young age. Right. I mean, when I was four, I didn't really know what was going on. Right. So all of the years later, I lost my friend, Envy. Right. I mean, and then and then I feel like the way she died bothered me a lot. Right. Because I'm a protector when it comes to females in my family or come to my friends. Like I, I mean, like I'm a protector. Like, right. Like I feel the type of way if you. If somebody do something to one of one of my female friends, I don't got a lot of female friends. Right. This this just this was every daddy like I mean like shout out to daddy, but it's just I mean like that that the way she died she got stabbed up like I mean that shit just like right. fuck me up right. I mean but I couldn't like I had to I had to keep going in right. life but that shit just that shit just it was a hurt that I ain't held yet right. all these years so I mean twenty fifteen like that that's. That's the word. That was, I hate that. I hate that year. Right. I'm in the same boat, for sure. That was a tough year. The crazy thing about the devil, if he can't get you, if he can't get to you, mm -hmm. he will go for everything around you. Stay prayed up and keep fighting. Yeah. Right. Yeah, make anybody around you feel away. Right. So you got to watch the information you feed everybody. Because mm -hmm. sometimes they can use that shit against you. That's why I'm talking to a female. I say, yo, stop telling all your friends everything. I ain't going to be your friend forever. All right, you tell everything, don't tell nothing about me. You know what I mean? Don't tell nothing about us. Right. Because they might use that information against you one time when they mad. Right. Like, everybody change, bro. Nobody say the same. Mm -hmm. You got to rock with whoever rocking with you. Even if it hurt, keep moving. Don't force none. Yeah. I mean, that's self -love. That's just, uh, you know what that means. Right. Don't force it. Right. I mean, just if, if it ain't working out, go ahead. Don't right. force nothing, bro. If you force it, it's not going to work. Right. It's going to be even worse. Yeah. Because that creates resentment. You want to jam the door. Right. The door got to easily open. Right. I like this one a lot. Yeah. As people, we have to take better care of each other. We can get so blinded by our own wants and needs that we forget about the next person who we can help. Mm -hmm. I'm guilty of this myself, and I pray that me and many others learn to love better. If everybody happy, who could be mad? Yeah. I like that one a lot. And I just like being with your crew, like somebody with me, but I ain't perfect. You know what I mean? At one point, I was making so much money, I could have helped. I could have I mean, I helped you in a position I could help me. 
And I mean, you know, you sometimes you do stupid shit with bread. Right. And I mean, I done did a lot of stupid shit with bread. I mean, I done flew through bread. Right. You know what I mean, and I could have did more and better with it. Right. Better investments. But you know, when you're young and you come from the bottom and you ain't have it like that, right. you're going to make mistakes. Right. And I just, I mean, I know nobody here perfect. I ain't perfect at all. Right. I done did some foul shit. I done did some messed up shit. I listened to some questionable shit like, damn, what the fuck did I do that for? I right. mean, I questioned myself. Right. I was stupid. I was dumb. I mean, but you know, if you like, I mean, it just that's just that, right, that quote was just like just learn from your mistakes. Right. I mean, you can't make mistakes. You can't make the same mistake five times, bro. You might right. make it three. Honestly, sometimes it take three times for a nigga to get it. Right. Like I cheated on this girl three times. Now she the one. I'm bugging the fuck out. Right. I ain't leave yet. Right. Why the fuck are you so loyal? Right. I just lawyer chicks out here sometimes. You be like, damn, like, like some, one time, I'm gonna keep it real with you. One time, I went to my, I went to my, my baby mom's phone. Like, niggas, every nigga can cap like they don't go to the phone. Like, this is years ago. Right. I went to her phone and I ain't see shit and I was mad. Right. Nothing, bro. <laughs> Not what? a thing. And right. I was tight. Right. W what do you think you were tight about, though? I was tight because. I was dirt You was back. trying to justify your yeah. shit. Yeah. I was being a dirt bag and right. she wasn't. Right. And all the dumbest shit I done did with her. I'm like, I know she doing some foul shit. Right. That was nothing. Even if the girls cover their trash good too, so I'm not saying I mean, but that was just nothing. Right. You feel me? Right. That was nothing. So it was like uh, that hurt more. You right. Know what I mean? <laughs> you don't want her to know you went to the fold. Right. I mean, when, when you see shit like that, so it's like, you, just, you know, you just, my advice to niggas, when you got something good or you got something like, that's sturdy, you you you, you play your part right. I mean, cause, but, but also keep your guards up regardless. I mean, right. I never tell nobody to put their guards down. Right. But you just be sturdy in life. Cause it's, just, it's, just, it's nasty out here. Right. Because a lot of females out here, man, they just, they wouldn't, they, they, it's not like before, like back in the days, bro. Everybody won. Right. These bitches just broke out here. They want their phone well paid. They want lashes. And they told some most of these niggas, your friends behind your back, all that. They don't, they don't, this shit don't, this shit ain't solid. It ain't, it ain't too many solid. So, as you gotta just be sturdy out here, cause it's, it's nasty. Right. Or, What's the most money you ever spent on a girl? Um, I'm gonna say, like just like a random chick. Random chick. A random Cause, chick. Cause I know the girls close to you is different, but I'm yeah. saying a random chick. Nigga, nothing. That's what I like to hear. Yeah, my nothing. nigga. <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna be in front of that one. Right. I'm gonna, I probably throw some singles on her. Right. You know what I mean? Right. But the club gave me half of that, nigga. I was right. Okay. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. Yeah. Oh. So how do you, how do you, how do you, how do you deal with, or or decide who you deal with? Like, are you in a situation right now? Yeah. Okay. So we gonna leave it at that. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so what's your dream, bro? My dream. My dream was just to oh, be like. The next Puffy, Yo Gotti, right. Jay Z. I want to put people on. Right. I mean, I want to make people happy. Right. I want to be that. I want to be. I want to do music. I want to be. Um, I always wanted to be an A and R, like a my own label CEO and putting people on. I never wanted. To be, I wanted. I wanted to be that person. Right. I mean, that's that's how to rap a little bit to put people on. That's always been me. Right. That's what I wanted to do. That's not. That's my dream. That's what I'm gonna do. Right. You sure? I'm here for that, you know. We, um, I'm, I mean, we're, right now we're, we're crossing paths, and we're yeah. gonna continue to cross paths as we climb up. That's you know what I'm saying so. We'll be we'll be watching each other for sure. Who would you love to work with? Keisha Cole. Keisha Cole, I love that. I can see that. I mean, I can see Cole. that. I mean, you watch all my interviews. I always say Keisha Cole. Right. I mean, I so you gotta see somebody. Up. You gotta see somebody else then too. You gotta give me two more. The person I want to work with, I already worked with, is Fat Joe. Fat Joe, okay. I mean, I got that, I got that, that to do list off my list. Yeah, we I do community work. And it was, it, and it was Jim Jones too. Jim that, Jones too. And I that's on the list. list too. Uh huh. All right. I mean, so I'd like I would say, uh, 
I'm going to say, let me see. Like, who I just like, nah. Ashanti. Ashanti. I could see that too. Ashanti. I, I want to write a whole album for Ashanti. Wow. You know, I write R&B too. Right. You know what I mean? Sit in a whole white studio, which is me and her. Everybody got, we got all, all white. Right. And we ball, be bussy, and we just make up a whole album that whole night. We're produced by a hit maker, written by Dice Pace. So. Right. You know what I mean? Fire. I'm uh, here for it. So, what would be your message to your younger self? Don't make so many mistakes, Dice. Right. And shit ain't worth it. You know what I mean? Right. Um, be more solid in decisions. Right. You didn't have to do that. Right. You feel me? Like, I mean, logic wasn't worth it. Right. So, we got one more question after this, but I just have one, another question. So, you said that you've been lined up before. Yeah. Like, how does that feel? Um, it's two, it's two feelings, bro. Right. You get a feeling like, damn, I'm really that nigga? Mm-hmm. That somebody really sitting here applying like that, and I'm really that nigga? Like, I'm, damn, I'm really doing so much out here? Right. And then you be like, damn. Niggas pretend like these niggas is my, like, my guys like that. Like, I mean, these niggas pretend like that. Like a nigga, like, I can't really say everything, but a, a nigga... It's like writing a book on how to get me, but it just ain't, it just ain't in right. Wow. I think I wrote a book on how to get me or planned it. Like, they really wrote and see steps. Like, it was right. like, niggas playing it. It was, it was, it was playing like two nights before, like, conversations. Like, I mean, acting like you was hurt and acting like somebody was doing something to you. And I'm, I'm trying to help you out. Right. You know what I mean? You, you was playing, you was plotting the whole time. Right. That's crazy. You feel me? Yo, right. yo, that. He was making sure I was in situation. Right. Yo, yo, I got a problem, bro. Let me let me get that real quick. Yo, you, you know, you my nigga, you know, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? But the whole time you just making sure I ain't because I was so I was always paranoid, so I was always situ I'm situ you know what I mean? Right. And nigga knew that. Like you, you know what I mean? Like like, like yo, I'm, he always situated. I had to make sure he ain't situated. Right. So you make up a whole situation so you, I won't be situated. Like nigga, this is clowns, bro. Right. You ever seen Money and Violence? Yeah. Great show. Yeah. yeah so that, that reminds me a lot of that story. I just saw my son Chavo too. So I, just, I was just with him in Miami. Right. I was just talking to Ace too. Those my niggas. Right. You feel me? That's tough. So summer's coming, uh -huh. right? So what would be your, your message on how to stay safe in the summer? Don't trust nothing. If you, ain't, if you don't got to be there, don't be there. I mean, you go... It's only two months in the summer, bro. I mean, you just, you can take, you can just be busy. Right. I mean, you don't gotta be on the block doing nothing. You can just be, you can be busy. If you don't gotta do, stay in the crib and try to get some money. Right. But it's only two months in the summer and just start to stay away. Right. I mean, everything ain't safe. I mean, just try to stay, stay busy and stay positive. Right. And stay out of the mix. Right. That's all. So let us know where we can find you, man. Let us know everything you got going on, what to expect. It's the 18 Days Pace of Burgundy album this summer. So I'm going to be running around a lot. I'm excited about that. It took two years for this tape to drop. And it's right. finally dropping. I mean, shout out to Jim Jones. I mean, so I talk to my brother, Jim Jones. Is, he, 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 he gave a nigga hope again. Right. I mean, I love him for that. That's my bro. Like we, like we conversate all the time. Right. We put plans together. That nigga believe in me. Right. And um, shout out to BP, my brother. Right. Shout out to Ugly, Neff, Dub, nigga, Chulo. You know what I mean, like right. my guys. Like I mean, the whole boss bro. Like every 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 last every last boss bro member. Right, right, right. You know what I mean, so you know what I mean, so I just I got a, I got a, I got a good team, bro. Right. A good team of brothers and shout out to Siegel, good manager. I mean, right. And smiles, the whole Clay Ave, the whole prospect, the whole watching. I mean, so they show me love. The young boys, they just, I give them hope. Right. I mean, so it's like they give me, they, they, I give them hope, so they give me energy to keep going. Right. And I mean, shout out to like, I mean, the people that show me love. My cousin Mino, 
You know what I mean? Like, shout out to everybody, man. Fab. I mean, I got some shit. I got a new, and I, and, and I got three albums done right now. I right. got the club. I got the Clean and Dirty with Club coming. Mm-hmm. I got the Get With Me, Rush the Beach Flip right. coming. I got the DJ Waffle tape. And now, right now, I'm working on my album. Right. I got Dirk so far. I got Fat Joe. You know what I mean, my album. Right oh, we got a Dirk song. Yeah. You know what I mean, so I've been at it, but it's on, right, right. It's on my, my album I'm dropping with E1. Right. You know what I mean? So I got I got some shit, man. I'm in Studio King, man. I got songs, bro. Like right, right, right. albums done. You feel me? I probably dropped 15 albums. Right. Since I've been doing this. So you know what I mean, I'm blessed, man. God is good, man. God is that. good. Absolutely, I mean, man. So make sure everybody like, subscribe, comment, go follow. I got Dice Peso. We got Trap Babu out now. Yeah. And stay tuned. Peace. Bird Gang. Bird Gang. Peace and love, world. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, support the channel, show your love. You know what I'm saying? We we have a great conversation week in and week out. You never know who's coming. You never know what we're going to do. But at the end of the day, it's all about peace and love. So make sure you like, subscribe, comment.